Arthur. Arthur. Uh, Arthur, wait up. Jesus, Michael, you scared me. <laughs> Making a delivery? Uh, uh, no, no, very, very funny. No, nothing like that. Uh, here. here. It's so warm. It's the best bread I've ever had in my life. So welcome home. I know. The hotel, huh? Sorry, I was just feeling a little overwhelmed. But you're feeling better now. Yes, yes. Definitely much better. Just not enough to call me back. You see, I, I was trying to, to organize my thoughts before I called. And that's, that's what I've been doing. And how's that going? Good. Good. I just... Uh, I need to be more precise. That's, that's the goal. To, to speak softly and carry a big baguette. As good as this feels, you know where it goes. No. What feels so good is not knowing. How do I talk to you, Arthur? Like a child? Like a nut? Like like everything's fine? What, what's the secret? Because I need you to hear me. I hear everything. Then hear this. You need help. You've got great cards here. You keep your clothes on, you can pretty much do any goddamn thing you want. You want out? You're out. You want to bake bread? Go with God. But there's one wrong answer in the whole pile here, and there you are with your arms around it. I said I was sorry. You thought the hotel was overwhelming? You keep pissing on this case, they're gonna cut you off at the knees. I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm out there trying to cover for you. I'm telling people everything's fine. You're gonna be fine. Everything's cool. I I'm running this price of genius speech to anybody who will listen, and I get up this morning and I find out that you're on the phone with that girl from Wisconsin, and you're messing with documents, and God knows what else. How can you know that? They'll take everything. Your partnership, the equity. How do you, How do you know I called on it? From Marty. You're denying I, it? I, How does he know? I don't know. I, I don't give a shit. You're tapping my phone! Oh, Jesus, Arthur! No, explain it. Explain how you Marty- You chased that girl through the parking lot with your dick hanging out. You don't think she got off the phone with you and speed dialed her lawyer? She wouldn't do that. I know it. I know it. Really? Really? You think your judgment is state of the art right now, huh? They're putting everything on the table here. I need you to stop and think this through. I will help you think this through. I will find someone to help you think this through. Don't do this. You're gonna make it easy for them. I have, I have great uh, affection for you, Michael. You lead a rich and, and interesting life. But you're a bad man, not an attorney. See, if your intention was to have me committed, you should have kept me in Wisconsin, where the arrest record, the videotape, the eyewitness accounts of my inappropriate behavior had jurisdictional relevance. I have no criminal record in the state of New York, and the crucial determining criteria for involuntary commitment is danger. Is the defendant a danger to himself or others? Now, you think you got the horses for that? Good luck and God bless. But I'll tell you this, the last place you want to see me is in court. I am not the enemy. Then who are you? <laughs>